Hello friends. Today we will discuss how to determine radius of a circular curve in field. And it is very practical problem. Many a times you need to know what is the radius of the curve which has been laid in the field. It is equally applicable to highway laying and railway laying. Now before we go into details of radius of the curve, let us understand what are the elements of a circular curve. Now this is the circular curve and let us say T1 and T2, these are two tangent points and they meet at O. So T1 O and T2 O are two tangents drawn on a circular curve and this is the deflection angle data. This will be the same as this deflection Now this is what we call the external distance E external distance and this is called the Versailles of the curve EF Versailles of the curve. This is the code T1, T2 is the code of the circular curve R is radius of the circular curve C is the center and this is the reflection angle and if you join this point C with O it will divide this into two equal parts and therefore this will be delta by delta. And because O is the point from where these two tangents are drawn, O T1 and O T2, so their lengths will be equal. That is the property of a circle that O T1 is equal to O T2, and let us say this tangent is T, length of the tangent is T. And this is the code, let us say C, length of the code. So this will be T1 F to be C by 2 and F T2 will be C by 2. Now, if you consider this triangle, triangle T1 F C, this triangle, this triangle, then the sine, sine of delta by 2 is equal to T1 F upon T1 F, I told you it is half of the core length. Or if you consider this triangle, this triangle, complete triangle, this is also 90 degree region. This angle is also 90 degree because tangents are drawn at 90 degree. So if you consider T1 O C, then in that case, then you take 10. 10 of delta 2 is equal to O T1 upon perpendicular upon this. So, OT1 is the length of the tangent. So, length of tangent equal to OT1 is equal to OT2 and that will be equal to L tan delta. Now, there are five double equations and seven elements of a horizontal curve. Now, these are the radius of the curve, deflection angle, tangent length, T1, core length, Versailles, E, and L, and length of the curve, L. These are seven elements of a horizontal curve. Radius of the curve, deflection angle, tangent length, core length, Versailles, external distance and length of the curve. That is the length of the curve. Length of the curve is easy to measure. And there are five governing equations which you can write from this figure. Five governing equations are like this. If you consider tangent length, T is equal to R tan delta by 2. Length of the curve is R into delta. The external distance E, this distance E, OE, it will be equal to R into set delta by 2 minus 1. And similarly, this for sign will be R into 1 minus cos of 
delta by 2. This you can write mathematically from this equation, from this figure. Length of the curve is 2r. Length of the chord. Length of the chord C is 2r sine delta by 2. These are five lower equations. And there are seven limits. And you can visualize here that if you know r and delta, you can combine all the five or seven parameters, remaining five parameters of the positive curve. So important here is determination of radius of the circular curve. How to determine radius of the circular curve? Now to determine radius of the circular curve, radius is related with the degree of the curve. Radius of the curve is related to degree of the curve. Let us say D. And how do we define the degree of the curve? Degree of the curve is defined as the angle subtended at center. This is D, degree of the curve, by a circular arc of 100 feet. That is the general definition of the degree of the curve. Or you can say 30.5 meter. That is the degree. Angle subtended at center by an arc of 100 feet. 30.5 meter. So if and this is the radius, this is the radius of the curve arc. So 30.5 divided by D will be equal to 2 pi r upon 360. When you have a complete circle, the angular center will be 360 degree and length of curve will be 2 pi r and that is the correlation between d and r. So if you simplify this, d will be equal to 1750 by r. Or r is 1750 that is the correlation between degree of the curve and radius of the curve. So one degree curve will have a radius of 1,750 meter. Two degree curve will have a radius of 875 meter. That is how they are correlated. Now in this figure, this is the chord length C and this is what we call the other side. That is the difference between the center of the curve, the center of the core. That is called the one side. One side of the curve. One side of the curve. That is the distance between center of the curve and the center of the core. That is the P. Now if you see this figure, and you let us say let us write A, C and O. So in this triangle, this A O square will be A C square plus C O square. Or you can say R square is equal to A C is half of the core length plus C O is R minus V. That is the distance. This is R total. R minus V. Or C square upon 4 plus R square minus V square. R square plus V square minus 2 R. Now this one sign is very small as compared to radius. And therefore when you compare this V square with respect to R. This is the easy. So we can neglect this v square parameter. And therefore, this equation becomes that r square is equal to c square upon 4 plus r square into 2r. So r here is 
c square upon 8 into d. That is the limit. Then the connection between radius of the curve, chord length, and verse sign. All three are in meters. All three are meters. So if you write down this equation, that verse sign is equal to c square upon 8. And I told you this, but size is small quantity when you measure in field, generally it is taken in centimeter. So if you take B in centimeter, then it will be B upon 100, C square upon eta, or V is equal to 12.5, C square upon C square upon